Storm clouds gather. This franchise is beset by evil, both mundane and immortal. How long can we endure this avarice? We must form an alliance. We either abandon this game or play together. I concur. This threat is beyond any of us. With sensible guidance, we can... This is just how the price is set. I see many players here, but do you even speak for your people? Creative Assembly, this is not the time for petty greed. Greed! There'll be no alliance with the player base while I am the creator, only bad excuses. Enough! You must not be blinded by your own need for money. This is the moment. Your choices will decide the fate of this game, and all who participate, make the right one. I have to give credit to Victor9461 for that speech. I felt it sounded awesome, so I just put it through the AI uh, generator in Eleven Labs. I use Lufer, Carl, and Alif and R because their voices are the ones that actually end up working the best in the program so far. Though Lufer does certainly sound different. I do have a couple of things to mention, though. It won't be long. Just to say this. As a content creator, I've covered controversies before. And I have to say that in over... 13 years or so that I've been doing things on YouTube, I have not seen anything close to this level of reaction on any subject that I have covered over the years, with the exception of highly charged political stuff like Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton in 2016. The fact that the community behind Total War and the Warhammer community, not just the Total War community, the overall community is so angry at Creative Assembly is pretty telling. The number of views I'm getting on the videos are ridiculous. I honestly expected to make maybe one, two videos on the subject and that would have been it. I certainly didn't expect to have this situation. Though that's really on Creative Assembly because not only did they raise the price significantly but also they released that statement and then content creators that got access to the DLC started making videos and then people realized that there wasn't what we expect or what we wanted in the DLC from Creative Assembly. You gotta understand that Creative Assembly has released a bunch of high quality DLCs. Like, we might complain about the price with Chaos Wars, but we did get quite a lot of quality content. Maybe not as much as we want and there are issues, but it was a good piece of content. Shadows of Change doesn't look like it's going to be a good piece of content. It's overpriced, and you have the nuclear bomb dropped by Creative Assembly on their community with that statement. What do I think needs to happen now? Uh, personally, I think that either Creative Assembly drops the price and apologizes, and that apology will be essential. Keep in mind, it is the weekend at the moment, and they're not in at work. So right now... Everything that's unfolded over the weekend is something that unfolded because they dropped that statement when they did, and also because they, uh, the content creators have had the last couple of days to really go over the various things that are in the DLC, or the things that they can talk about, to go over those things, n talk about those, and the community has certainly noticed what Creative Assembly has done or what they haven't done. Because if Creative Assembly doesn't do that, things are going to get quite bad going forward. And it's not necessarily just for this DLC, it's for Pharaoh, it's for Thrones of Decay, it's for Pyenas. I mean, I, I think like right now, people, even people that are going to be interested in Hyenas uh, that might play Total War games are just going to be like, no, I am not touching that title considering everything that's happened because of the development of that title. Something needs to give. It's either going to be CA or it's going to be the game. It's not going to be the community. It's not going to be people backing off. People are angry beyond reason at this point. And whatever excuse is. And honestly, like I, there's a, always a bunch of people that are like, why don't you understand how things work? I, we understand how things work. We understand inflation. We understand that. We also understand corporate greed. We're not idiots. We understand when a creative uh, when creative assembly is trying to pull the rug un from under us. We we understand when when they're trying to nickel and dime us, and treat us like dirt. We know this. And here's the thing: in the past, there was always something that kind of made up for it. Like this is the biggest controversy since the release of Rome 2, by far. 
Well, Warhammer 1, yes, you did have the Warriors of Chaos controversy, but it was tempered by the fact that Warhammer 1 was a massive step in the right direction. I personally was very pleased by the performance impact. Like, having good performance in Total War game for once it felt great. So people were willing to forgive a lot of Creative Assembly's transgressions because there was always something to temper the anger. That isn't the case with Shadows of Change. And unless Creative Assembly does something, either a price decrease and an apology, or we don't know what else, though I think that would be the most obvious um, answer, things are going to get worse. Because, as I've stated before multiple times, if you think things are bad right now, you haven't seen anything yet. Kosin, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications. And thanks to Victor for that little speech.